Today I'm going to show you how to do the MBA pre-trip inspection for your test, CDM Class A. They're going to give you a checklist on the day of your test to carry with you. Everything that you need to check is listed here. You need to know the descriptions of each of these parts. Make sure you point to and or touch all parts you're talking about. I'm going to start with the front of the truck. My ID, my clearance light, they're secure. They're not cracked or broken. They're amber in color. My windshield is secure. It's not cracked or broken. It's clean and clear. There's no illegal stickers or obstructions. My windshield wipers are secure. My blades are not torn or dry rotted. My mirrors, my side mirrors, my fender mirrors, I will check to make sure they're not cracked or broken. They're clean and clear. The brackets are not bent and there's no missing parts. My headlights and, clear and turn signals, I'll check just like I checked my ID and clearance lights. Headlights clean and clear. Turn signals amber in color. Making sure my vehicle's not leaning side to side or front to back. One look underneath, make sure I have no puddles that would indicate a leak. Now I'm going to go under the hood. Start on the passenger side. I'm going to check all my hoses. They're secured, they're not cut or worn, they're not leaking. I have no visible or audible leaks. I'll check my engine area, make sure I have no leaks. My coolant reservoir is secured, it's not leaking, and it's between the minimum and maximum. My oil dipstick, I would pull out. Wipe it off, reinsert it, pull it back out, make sure it's between minimum and maximum. And now I'll go to the other side. I'm gonna check all my hoses like I checked on the other side. My power steering reservoir, secured, it's not leaking. It's between the minimum and maximum. Check my power steering hoses. They're secured, they're not cut or worn, and they're not leaking. My gearbox is secured, it's not cracked or leaking. I'll check my arms, my rods, and my links. They're not cracked or bent. Sockets aren't worn or loose. And I have no missing castle nuts or cotter pins. My spring mount is secured, it's not cracked or damaged. My leaf springs are not shifted, they're not cracked or broken. They're secured with no missing parts. My shock absorber is secured, no damage, it's not leaking. My brake hose, I would check that it's secured, not cut, pinched, or worn. It's not leaking, it's able to supply air. My brake shoes and brake drums, I would check that they're free of contaminants. My tire, I would check my inflation with a gauge. My tires are not cut, bulged, or worn. I would check my tread depth with the gauge at least 430 seconds. My valve stem is secure, it's not leaking, has a metal cap, and it's accessible. My rim is not cracked or bent, no repair welds, no elongated holes, and no broken studs. My lug nuts are all secure, none are cracked, broken, or missing. There's no rust trails or shiny threads indicating looseness. I would check my turn signal, like all other lights, amber in color. My fuel tank is secured, cap is tight, there are no leaks from the tank or the hoses. My battery box lid is secured, my batteries are not visible, but I would make sure they're secured, all connections are tight, there's no excessive corrosion and no leaks. My air lines, making sure that they're not cut, pinched, or worn. They're not leaking. All my connectors are seated and sealed with no leaks. My electric line is secured to the back of my tractor and to the front of my trailer. It's not cut, spliced, taped, or worn. And my air lines or my electric lines are not dragging on any part of the tractor. 
I would check my frame, my tractor frame and my trailer frame. It's not cracked or bent, no excessive holes, no repair welds, no illegal welds. I also want to make sure that my trailer has no holes in the floor. My fifth wheel, I'm going to check my apron. It's not cracked, bent, or worn. My skid plate is not cracked, bent, or worn. There's no gap between my apron and my skid plate, and my skid plate is properly greased. My locking jaw is secured around my kingpin with no play. My kingpin is secured, not cracked, bent, or worn. My release arm and my fifth wheel sliding pins are in the locked position. My fifth wheel is in the proper position. It does not interfere with my landing gear when making turns. I'm going to check all my lights and my reflectors like all other lights. Amber to the front, middle, red to the rear. My DOT tape is clean and secure. My landing gear, my handle is in the locked position. It's fully raised. There's no missing uh, braces or parts. My sliding tandem. I want to make sure that my pins and my handle are in the locked position. At the rear, I want to check my ID, my clearance lights, my stop lights, turn lights, four ways, and tail lights, like all other lights, red in color. My DOT tape, I would check the same as I checked it on the side. Now I'm ready to do my end cap. 